I absolutely love Robin Wright as an actress, but for this movie, she sits in the director's chair for the first time directing her feature-length debut. Is it a hit or is it a miss? Let's talk about it. What's going on you guys, James here with another real review and today I'm taking a look at Lan starring Robin Wright, Damien Bashir, and Kim Dickens. It's directed by Robin Wright herself. This is her first time directing a feature length debut and I was actually really interested in this film because of all the stills I was seeing and a little bit of the talk around the movie itself. This is very much a slow burn type of movie so you better strap in because there are some emotional beats here in the story that'll rip your heart out. Now a huge thank you to Focus Features for giving me a chance to screen this early. It's playing at Sundance but it's also going to hit theaters Friday February 12th so if you can't see it at the film festival you can definitely check it out in theaters where it is safe. Now this movie surrounds the story of Edie, a woman who is dealing with the awful loss of her husband and son and after this terrible tragedy she goes up in the mountains of Wyoming in order to find peace once again and grieve over her loss. Now before I tell you what I liked and didn't like too much about Land, guys if it's your first time here at the channel welcome to Real James where I have conversations about movies and TV every single day. I drop reviews, reactions, and so much more so if you don't want to miss out on all the fun go ahead and hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, and tap on that bell guys so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new review. This week is going to be so busy and so fun we got a lot to talk about malcolm and marie we got wandavision on friday guys my head is spinning and if you haven't already smash that like button and get loud in the comments below and when you see this movie guys let me know did you like it did you not like it and if you haven't seen it yet did this review win you over because i'm curious to see how the general audience is going to react to this both critics and casual moviegoers alike so let's dive into the first thing I love about Land, and right off the bat guys, this movie looks gorgeous. The cinematography here is excellent, and it helps that Robin Wright chose to shoot on location, and because she did that, the movie is so much better for it. Boy, Wyoming looks beautiful. I've seen it in postcards and in newspaper articles, but man, in this movie, it captures it like I've never seen it before. I'm also glad they didn't opt for many, well, if any, special effects here. I really felt that seeing Robin Wright really try to survive every single day and eat the bare minimum in terms of food, scraps, have barely any water, really helped bring home the message for this film. And for a good portion of this movie, there's hardly any dialogue and it just all helped really sell the story for me and hone in on Robin Wright and the character of Edie. Now when it comes to Robin Wright, her and her co-star here, Damien Bashir, both give some really good, strong performances. They're solid, they're not flawless, but what I will say is that both of them play off of each other pretty well. There's enough here that they inject into the movie to help really further the message of love, loss, and death. Like I said earlier, this is a heavy film guys, so you need to really prepare yourself mentally before going into this movie. I also gotta give big props to Damien Bashir because he brought life to this film when it needed it the most. For me, the movie was kinda chugging along after the first act a little bit, but when you get into that second act, I think the movie hits a good little stride, and that's really due in large part to Damien Bashir just being very charismatic and bringing a new layer to the story. And when it comes to Robin Wright, I mean she was a force in several scenes where it almost pained me to see her break down on screen. I mean seriously, every time she cried, I felt like crying with her. She's excellent overall and does have a great track record in Hollywood being one of my favorite actresses, so seeing her in Land and then adding on top of that this being her feature length debut. It just goes to show you that she is very versatile. And speaking of directorial debut, guys, I think Robin Wright has an eye for filmmaking. There's a certain sequencing of shots here in this movie that helps paint a certain picture on its own. You don't need a lot of dialogue. Like I just mentioned, in the first 30 minutes, you're hardly getting any lines of actual speaking. Instead, you're very much in tune with the sounds of nature. The sound design here was also pretty excellent. But man, Robin Wright just knows how to really tell a story from shot to shot. I also love that she chose to have the score and soundtrack produced by Ben Soleil and Time for Three. Both of them were perfect for this movie. They brought in the elements of a western, but also some folk music. It was just very good. It complemented what we were seeing on screen. And also, it added in a dose of emotion. Gosh, there are just some moments in this movie, guys, where I was just totally engaged. Now, as much as I want to keep talking about all the good things in this movie, guys, not everything was flawless for this film. There are some serious pacing issues, especially in the second half of this film, where it begins to drag and I became uninterested. I think that the story probably could have used a little bit of fine tuning down the line because there are some moments where I felt like maybe scenes were improperly placed 
and I don't feel like the gut punch really delivered at the end like it wanted to. And even though, yes, it's a western at its core and most westerns have a slow burn, there's also an awesome payoff for the best of them. And the reason why I think that the film didn't necessarily deliver in that final act as much as I wanted it to is because of the script. I mean, even from the beginning all the way to the end, there were some issues with the dialogue. I feel like the writing was a little rough around the edges. The movie doesn't have the most natural of conversations, and sometimes hearing Damien Bashir singing or both of them talking about Star Wars doesn't really fit in with the movie. I get that it's trying to provide comedic relief, but those are times where I don't think we needed that to relate to our characters and make us feel empathetic towards them. The movie already really successfully tackled that. I was already basically okay with both of them and their chemistry, and then adding on top of that talk about Star Wars, it really just pulled me out of the film a little bit. So not only did that hold land back from being great, I also think that the movie really needed more moments with Edie and Miguel. This film was ripe for hitting a home run in that third act. I really thought it was going to bring it home, but I do believe that in order for this film to really have gotten over the hump, you needed to have more genuine moments of conversation between both of these leads. I also had a really big issue with the flashbacks between Edie and her sister Emma played by Kim Dickens. They were oddly placed flashbacks and the movie really could have done without them. They're quick, yes, so they don't linger, however they provide a very unnecessary bump along the road because the movie's flowing in the first act and then we start to get these flashbacks and I'm like, you know what, maybe we could have just got all of that in a single solo scene with Robin Wright. So overall, you guys, Land really is a solid feature-length debut for Robin Wright. She does deliver a great performance, but behind the lens, I think she has an eye for what makes a good, down-to-earth drama work. Not only is the movie beautiful, but I think the message is also very wholesome. The film gives our main character enough time to grieve. There's even a two year time that elapses over the course of this film, even though it's only an hour and a half. So I feel like the movie, it said enough in the time that it was given, but I just think that there were a few things it should have fine tuned. And the biggest of them all really is that script. And I selfishly wanted more moments between Demi and Bashir and Robin Wright, but unfortunately we don't get that, and like I said, it hurts the film in the final act. So is this a must see? I would say if you're a fan of Robin Wright and if you like westerns, this movie is going to be right up your alley. However, you shouldn't go in expecting a best picture type of film, and this really is a little middle of the road sometimes where I feel like it needed to give us more emotion. So this is pretty much a solid 3.5 out of 5 star kind of film, and I think Land is worth a rental, but I'm not so sure it's one of those films you rush out to see on the big screen. However, if you are a sucker for wildlife movies and films that really kind of get in tune with nature, and you do love those big wide vast shots yeah you might want to see this landscape painted on a huge screen but for me it served its purpose at home and i think that land again is a solid movie it's just not enough to really knock your socks off so there you have it you guys that's my real review for land a movie that i hope you can see too and if you do guys let me know in the comments below what you think of the film did this review also make you want to go and see this in theaters and if you saw it at sundance guys let me know exactly your thoughts and if you haven't already smashed that like button and Go ahead and hit the big red button below and help us get to 5,000 subscribers. I can't do this without you. And smash that bell, guys, because again, this week, oh boy, it's about to be a fun one. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.